Hey guys, welcome to BP the Bible Perspective. I want to share a few thoughts on these two flags and what they represent and what they have in common. Now, it may not be exactly what you think. Well, maybe a little. But they both share a lost cause. Now, before we get into it, please like and share this video and subscribe to BP the Bible Perspective. And as always, if you have a thought or comment, Add it to the comments section below. All comments are welcome. Now, again, these two flags represent an ugly time in our history. One in the past and one in the present. Yes, I said in the present. The Confederate flag represents a horrible time in our history. The bloodiest war that we have fought on our soil. And it's a war that America never should have fought, dating back to 1776, when um, um, the Constitution was, was written, blacks were left as slaves. And this represents the mess that was never corrected in 1776. But the problem is that not only did it call the mess, but it also, these people live on. There are people that won't let this lost cause die. Confederate sympathizers. And there are a few organizations that they keep this alive. And it's a lie because to them, they won or the North was unfair. But they keep it alive. Even to this present day, there are Confederate memorials, some 1,800 around the nation, that keep the lie alive. See, keep that in mind. It's a lie. There are textbooks that reshape and retell the story of the Confederacy. Um, and again, it's a lie, a lost cause. Well, now enter this man, former President Trump. Now, I don't know if he is saluting his name or the Confederate flag or both. <coughs> if you remember, he did stoke the seeds of racism throughout his presidency. So much so that he created the same mentality that the Confederacy had that they decided to engage in a lost cause. Enter this flag here, right? The failed campaign for Trump to gain a second term. And when he lost, you remember, they stormed the Capitol in a lost cause over a lie that Trump had won and that they were going to overturn the election results, which was again a lie, a lost cause. You see, that was the on the day that they were storming the, the the Capitol was simply a formality. It was already set in stone. The electoral college had already elected the president, President Biden. In other words, if they were going to storm something, they should have did it back in December, I think it's December 4th, when they actually voted. <laughs> okay, but I, dig I digress. But they stormed the Capitol over a lie. And even now, they're still keeping up the lie. That's their hope. Now, in actuality, there is still another hope this coming August that uh, some are trying to stoke. Yeah, I think even Trump himself is trying to say, hey, he's going to return to the presidency uh, this August. See, what these two have in common is the lost cause that is built upon lies that dupe thousands, tens of thousands of people into believing their lie. And even in the Christian world, in the Christian church, 
there are those who still believe in this lie. So um, that's what they have in common. And it is oh, not only frustrating, but sad. Sad because, you see, this tells us that the country will always be divided because those seeds of division are always there. And you're always going to have people like Trump stoking the flames. Well, the good news is that it's just a lie and only a lost cause. The bad news could be that sometimes it could come with cost. It could come with a loss of life. Remember, uh, this little episode cost several lives. But if you keep stoking the seeds of discontent and, 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 and dissension. More lives could be lost. And it would be over a lie. It would be over a lost cause. Now, I think any kind of political aspiration that Trump may have is going to be a lost cause because the January 6th incident stunned a lot of people. But we'll see. Look, that is my perspective. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to BP the Bible Perspective. And as always, if you have a thought or comment, add it to the comments section below. All comments are welcome. Till next time, I'll see you then.